Hey everyone, my name is Spirit78 here, and welcome back to some more of Let's Play Pikmin! This is the finale of Pikmin, and today we're going to take on the final trial, and see what awaits us there. Hopefully the final ship part, but you never know. Now first off, right off the bat, I gotta say, the final trial has some very, very, very nice music. I rather enjoy it. Quite a bit, actually. And also, the other thing that I like about this place is that it really is a final trial. It allows you to use pretty much all of your abilities, all your Pikmin's abilities, rather. And it's kind of like, hmm, what am I trying to say here? It allows you to use all of your uh, Pikmin's abilities, you know, basically combining like, you know, blue Pikmin, yellow Pikmin, red Pikmin, all into one big group. So. And speaking of that, you want to get out all three of your types of Pikmin and pretty much just get started because you're really, really, really pressed for time this day. And honestly, if you, after you clear out all the puzzles and stuff, decide to, to like just take a full day to fight the boss, I wouldn't blame you because none of these uh, puzzles, you know, go back to not being solved. So really... If you want to take a day to fight the boss itself, and a day to do the puzzles, honestly, I wouldn't blame you. And to be quite honest, this is actually my second time recording this finale, just because I had some bad, bad things happen in the boss fight. So I'm actually thinking I might use that method. Quite honestly. So. And really, at this point in the game, I really don't care if I'm using up two days to... to, uh... to fight him and solve this whole puzzle thing. So, what you want to do here, you want to take your blues, and you want to start working on this bridge. And while they're doing that, ah, Pikmin's gonna die. No, he isn't. Okay, he's good. And while they're doing that, I want to take our yellows, and I want to go get some bombs. Now, you might be wondering, well, where's the bombs? Or where are the bombs? Well, they're actually over here. If you throw your Pikmin onto this little landmass right here, and then you throw them all the way up here, I'm actually surprised they're not falling off that ledge. And then you take the geyser up here, you see this thing of bomb rocks. So just throw your Pikmin into the tube and allow them to get their rocks. Right, so everybody, yeah, yeah, meow, 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 oh, how so cute. And now that they have some bomb rocks in hand, we want to just basically repeat the process. Throw them onto the land. And call them back, and then throw them back onto the land again. And now that this bridge is done, we can actually cross the bridge with our yellow Pikmin in a second here, and blow up this wall. That so you can clearly see is blocking away. But with our blue Pikmin, I, there's actually another bridge we have to go and break. So that's what we're going to use them for. You actually have to use blue Pikmin here. You can't actually, you know, break the bridges with anything else. Actually, no, theoretically you could. You just need the blue Pikmin for one of the bridges, actually. Because if you take your yellows and then cross this bridge and then blow up the wall, you could have, like, reds or something blow up the other bridge. But I just prefer to use blues because it's actually a bit quicker. Alright, everyone get back, get back, 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 back. Oh wow, I actually blew up that wall rather quickly. And I uh, might as well help, help out the, uh, help out the blues here. Come on guys, hurry up. Yes, yes, I know, it's almost, actually no, it's not really noon. I'd say by the, looking at that clock, I'd say that it's actually probably like 9 in the morning. That's at the guesstimate. Camera, could you? Wow, camera. Okay. Almost there, guys. You can do it. You can do it. As Pikmin, you can band together and do it. So. That sounded a little bit weird. But now that they are done with this bridge, we want to come on over here, and as you can see, there's a wall we need to break. So let's do just that. And see that thing in the middle? Yeah, yeah, don't, don't go say hi to it. At all. Y you'll die. Badly. 
Like, you are going to die if you go to say hi to that thing. Instead, what you want to do is hug this wall. Hug it carefully. Never let it go. It will be your friend always, forever. It's... Yeah, just stay away from that thing. It's not good. And now that we're done with that, we want to actually dismiss our Pikmin here. And I want to... Actually, no. We're going to do something a little bit odd. That most other Pikmin LPs don't do. With our 71 out of 77... Where is everybody? Seriously, where are the all the... What are all those yellows doing over there? What the hell? What you guys doing? Huh? What are you, what are you guys doing over wherever you are that I can't actually see you? I thought I saw you for a second there. Where are these Pikmin that I'm missing? Did that yellow Pikmin just walk on water? I could have sworn that he did. I mean, I know obviously he didn't actually, but... Hey, Pikmin! Hello? Missing, like, seven Pikmin. Oh! Wait, what? Where are these Pikmin that are missing? Um... Okay, where on the map are you guys, and how did you get there? How the heck did you all get over... Great. And they were all yellow, so now they're gonna drown. And I have no land to whistle them onto. Well, that was productive. Come on, guys, swim! Actually, no, you can't get to this one. No, you can't. It's too high of a ledge. Well, that was productive. Let's go find the Pikmin and then kill them. Smart idea on my part. Just wasting time. Now, what we're actually going to do, this might sound stupid, but we're going to go to Sunset. And the only reason I do this now is because I tried this before in all one... Like, I tried doing this before all in one day, and I just barely... Just barely missed it. So I'm not going to even take that chance again. We're actually going to dedicate an entire day to fighting the boss. Spending days 19, spent day 19 solving the puzzle stuff. And tomorrow we're fighting the boss. So come on, come on. We didn't lose any Pikmin. The only Pikmin we would have actually lost, I drowned. That was awesome. So 19 days since impact. I wonder if I shall ever be able to escape from this world. How much suffering must I endure before I can finally see my family ho family again? Still, my heart grows too heavy. Still, when my heart grows too heavy, I take comfort in my efforts. I will, I will get home, or I will ex expire trying. They couldn't say you, or they couldn't say I will die trying. They really couldn't say that. It just sounds weird. I will expire trying. Anyway. And I don't know why Olimar is acting like he's not going to make it. We only need... <laughs> this is it. So on day 20, we're going to finish this. Now, unfortunately, you will not be seeing blue Pikmin ever again. At least on this day. Like, What I'm trying to say here is that you don't need blue Pikmin anymore, pretty much. You can take on this final boss with yellows and reds. In fact, I highly recommend you take on this boss with only yellows and reds. You take out about 80 reds and about 20, 20 yellows. Or 79 reds. Okay, that works. I'm not going to go back in there just for one Pikmin. You can take out about 21 yellows. That sounds about good to me. Hopefully the majority of them are flowers. No, they aren't. Uh, is there any nectar nearby here? Please let there be nectar somewhere nearby. I see candy pop buds, don't need them. No nectar, really? Come on. Come on, I'd rather have some flowers fight for me. Like, seriously, I really would. Be like, really, really, really nice. I could find some flower Pikmin. Or, find some nectar to get some flower Pikmin. Oh, alright. Not exactly the army I was hoping for here, but at least we got some flowers. Fully across the bridge, no one glitch into the water. Okay, good. Um, any gra oh, any nectar over here, maybe? Anything, please? Maybe? Oh! Ah, come on! 
Oh man, those are all flowers. Come on. Don't drown. Don't drown. Turn around. Don't drown. Oh. God dang it. Well, at least I don't have all leaves now. Well, I guess we're just taking on the final boss as we are. Again, hug the wall. Don't let it go. It's your friend. It's your only friend in this place. Also, I just noticed something. This place is very, very lacking in terms of actual enemies. I guess that makes sense. Now, what you want to do is you want to take all your yellows and go get a lot of bomb rocks. And there's actually even more bombs up here. <gasps> Grass! Yes! It better have nectar in it! Yes, it has nectar in it! Oh my god, it has a lot of nectar in it! Holy cr- Whoa! Look at all that nectar! It's like a bounty of gold! Must. Use. Everyone, go! Eat your fill! Become flowers, become stronger! Become awesome! Oh my god, that is awesome! Look at all this flower pigment! Actually, thinking about it, I really shouldn't have given any of the yellows that nectar. I mean, we still have a fair bit of leaves, so maybe I should have just given that all the reds. Oh well, live and learn. Not gonna burst out in the song. So, we're going to disperse here. I want to kind of regroup all of our Pikmin. And what I want to do is just kind of take our bombs and move them to about right here. And take all of our reds and the yellows that don't have bombs, actually. And move them somewhere where I can get to them easily. I'd say right about here, actually. That's pretty good. And when you're ready, walk on in and say hello to Emperor Bulblax! The final boss of Pikmin! This guy is a jerk. He's very tough to take down. And nine times out of ten, he won't even look at you. But what you want to do here is you want to take a bomb Pikmin, or just a bomb Pikmin, actually. You want to take one bomb, and get, it, get in his sights, and run away, have him eat the bomb Pikmin, and grab your reds really quick, and attack his face! Literally this time, we want to attack his face! Okay, go, 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 and then call your Pikmin back. Call them all back, call them all back, call them all back. Run, 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 run. Oh man, how many did we just lose? Ouch! That was not 10, but that was close to 10. Alright, let's go. You want to stay away from the blast that, you know, happens whenever he eats a Pikmin? Because funny enough, that'll actually kill your Pikmin. Don't attack his nose! Attack his face! Well, I guess it is his face, but... Okay. So far, so decent. Not good, but decent. Come on. I know you bomb Pikmin are scared, but... Your valiant efforts will always be remembered. I find it funny how his eyes, like, hit, like, huge whenever he eats a bomb. He's like, oh god, what did I just eat? Alright. Call them back, call them back. Everybody come back! Pikmin, come back! You can blame it all on me! Don't die trying, or I'm gonna start crying. Okay, so, come here. So that's gonna be an awkward angle to attack him at, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Get as much damage on him as we can. I didn't- did we even do anything to him? Come on, everyone get back! Okay. You can see why it's really difficult to take this guy on in a single day. I'm taking him on- or why it's difficult to take this guy on when you, like, did the, all the puzzles and stuff. And it's just- really, it's not easy to do. Go! Attack his face! Get him! Get him! Actually, you're attacking his eyes that time. Come on, everyone, get back! Get back! Run! We are actually not doing too bad. I really shouldn't have said that out loud. Alright, come on. Okay, 
Come here. Come here, dude. I can't whistle. Behind you! Come on. Come on. Come on, eat the big Pikmin pot. Oh no, get out of the way! That attack is bad. That attack is actually really bad. If Olimar gets caught up in a tad attack, it actually takes down half of his health. So he can only take two of those jump attacks. Yeah, it's not fun. Alright, come here and eat the freaking... Oh god, get out, get out, get out. No, run! The last thing I should be worrying about here is Olimar getting hurt. Get him! Oh man, he's almost dead. He really went at it that round. Oh man, get out of the way! Yeah, as you can see, he's limited to this arena only. So, if you can keep your Pikmin outside of the arena, you'll be perfectly fine. Now, I actually want to regroup here just a bit. Get my bombs. Put you guys there, and yeah, okay, we're good. Yo, Bulblax! Come on! Run, Pikmin, run! Whoa, that was close. Stop jumping! Don't do that attack anymore, God. Behind you! Behind you! Right behind you! It's me! It's an Olimar! Oh, God. Stop jumping, my God. Did he eat it? No, he didn't. God dang it. Come on. Dude! Look at, look at this. Big old Pikmin for you to eat. He still didn't eat it. Well, that time, that was my fault! <sighs> okay, now I'm actually getting worried about Olimar dying here. And if that happens, the day automatically ends. Okay. We're, we're doing alright. Get them back, get them back. Bomb Pikmin, what the heck were you even doing in that fight? You shouldn't even be around to get in the Red's way. That's really kind of bad. And I know all my Pikmin are getting kind of spread out here, but it's like... Eat the bomb! Stop jumping! Because every time you jump, I'm worried that Olimar's going to get killed now. Reds, go! No, 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 no! Oh, you stupid bomb Pikmin! You nearly killed us all, what the heck? Okay, you know what, bombs, stay over here when I say stay. Like, seriously, that could have been really bad. In fact, that could have been the perfect opportunity to kill him, but no. Alright, you. Stop jumping. Eat them. Now, sometimes what'll be cool is if you actually time it perfectly and throw your Pikmin out into its path. Sometimes your bomb Pikmin will actually throw the bomb onto its tongue. And that'll actually stun him even longer. However, that never seems to happen for me, like, ever. Unless I get really lucky, and there's no way I'm going to be able to show that, because I'm this is not going too well. This whole boss isn't going too well, actually, but... Come on. Come here. Stop jumping, my god. Do you ever do anything but jump? Alright, if we can time this right, this might be it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Go, 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 let this be it, let this be it! Oh no, it's not it, it's not it, it's not it! Wait, is it it? Yes, it's it! That's it! He's dead! He's down! At long last, I found my final part. The secret safe. And it's as full as ever. How glad am I that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I may leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for the wife and kids back on planet Hokitate. And then Emperor, Bul Emperor Bulbox just kind of dies. And he drops pellets, which you really don't even need. And that's it! We did all that for a piggy bank. And you want another kicker? The piggy bank isn't even a required ship part. Yep, that's right. The final boss of the game has a ship part that's not even required. And it's a freaking piggy bank. So yeah, Olimar pretty much uh, had these Pikmin uh, fight for him at the end here. I didn't want to do that. Had these Pikmin fight for him at the end for a piggy bank. Uh, 
God dang it. But anyway, there's one more trick I want to show off here before we, you know, are done. If you press 2, I never showed this at all during any other part of the playthrough. If you press 2... Oh, really? I don't have 4 Pikmin? Yeah, I clearly have 4 Pikmin, come on. If you press 2, you will actually light... Come on. How do you do this? Press 2. You will lie down, and these Pikmin will carry you back to your base. Not gonna actually use that, but I at least wanted to show it at least once. I figured now would be the least stressful time to do that. And yeah. Look at them go. That's it, guys. We have achieved the final ship part. I finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Planet Hokitate. And so ends Pikmin. Now at the very end of the final day, you will get a final analysis. Um, let's see, so it took us 20 out of the 30 days to actually do this. Oh, my worst playthrough, it took me 27 days. Okay, wow, well, alright. So this was actually my second best. Uh, let's see. I had 433 Pikmin survive, but I lost 384 in total. At <laughs> my worst playthrough, I lost 418. And my best playthrough, I lost 281, so that's not bad. Total Pikmin ever sprouted. Oh, one away from 4,000. 3,999. That's funny. And here you can see all the ship parts that we got. And all the ones highlighted in blue are the ones that were not required. So you didn't need the Nova Blaster, the Space Float, the Massage Machine, the UV Lamp, or the Secret Safe. Ironically, a lot of those caused me so much trouble. Uh, and finally, we save. I don't know why it saves here, because when you go back to play um, in the save file, it takes you back to the previous day before the um, final trial. But yeah, that is Pikmin. A very, very good game in my opinion. Very fun to play. A bit stressful at times, but eh, I guess that's real-time strategy games for you. And if you couldn't tell already, if you're looking at that planet, that's actually the Pikmin home planet that the credits are on. And they kind of put a shadow there to kind of hide it from you. But 
If you couldn't tell at this point, the Pikmin planet was actually Earth. Now, a bit of backstory about Pikmin, from what I remember, uh, I believe Pikmin is said to take place in a post, um, a post-human society, or you know, like after humans have take, you know, after human reign on the Earth, uh, there were Pikmin. I don't know exactly what happened to the humans, or why Pikmin even appeared, or what happened to all the animals. I'm going to assume it was like maybe some kind of nuclear thing. That that that's my theory, but. I don't know. And also, at the end there, I just want to point out, you saw how there were a bunch of different colored onions, right? Orange, green, cyan, a whole bunch of different onions. Black, actually. So that indicates that there's actually pigment of those colors, right? Yeah, about that. That's not even touched upon. Those colors aren't touched upon in Pikmin 2, and considering Pikmin 3 is not out yet, we can't really say. In fact, speaking of Pikmin 3, has there really been much information about that game as of late? I mean, I heard that it's going to be a Wii U launch title, but really they haven't talked about it all that much. Either way, I look forward to Pikmin 3. I want to get Pikmin 2 someday. <clears throat> but unfortunately, that won't be a... It won't be a new play control version because Pikmin 2 never got a Wii U control version in America and North America. A bit stupid in my opinion. But yeah, overall, quite the fun game. I really do uh, like the Pikmin, the... Uh, well, I can't say the Pikmin series because I haven't played two. But I like Pikmin. It's a fun game. And what is this? Enemy roll call! Or as I like to call it, let's watch the dude play way worse than I can at Pikmin. Like, literally, this guy just, like, throws his Pikmin into the worst possible situations. And doesn't even, like, do it right. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, like, a computer playing here. But it's just... Uh, it's stupid. Yeah, Speedy Longlegs, I still hate you with a passion. <clears throat> now, there's actually some interesting things about this enemy roll call. Um, sometimes you'll actually see enemies in areas that they don't normally appear in. Ah, uh, the Burrowing Snaggers. Oh, anyway, but you actually see um, some enemies appear in areas where they don't normally appear in, in this roll call. I believe this roll call may have been like done during Pikmin's beta or something. So I guess it allows you to see how much of this actually changed from the beta to the original, or to what we have now. That thing's actually kind of creepy. Those things with their red eyes, huh? that's creepy. Dwarf ball bears, you're cute when you sing, but when you hunt down Pikmin and your eyes go all red, that's creepy. I like how that guy just throws one Pikmin at that ball borb and just kind of wakes it up. It's just... You don't take all of your Pikmin into the middle like that. You're gonna get eaten by the ball blacks, Emperor. God. It's, it's actually fun to watch this enemy roll call, because it's like... No matter how bad at Pikmin that you are, you probably aren't as bad as the computer or person or whatever that played Pikmin for the enemy roll call. That that that's my theory. Ah, uh, burrowing sn or bur not burrowing snake, but swooping snitch bug. I hate that thing. You guys know I hate that thing now. I never used to hate him, but after this playthrough, I hate him. Why would you send Reds in to fight the Gulags? But anyway, I guess I should start talking about overall thoughts on the project itself. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I know I did sound, like, angry at some points, and it's because this game is a bit stressful if you don't... You know, if things go really, really wrong. I explained that on numerous occasions. But, I mean, it's still a fun game, so... Aw, oh, the Pikmin are singing. That's cute. But yeah, overall... I wouldn't say this was my best project ever, but it was certainly a lot of fun. Uh, it was it was fun to record when I actually got you know I actually did record. Um, but yeah, I just needed a short little project. Um, after that big hiatus there. And speaking of projects, I guess now is a good time to start talking about future projects and stuff. Um, I want to make this clear right now. <clears throat> Pikmin will be my final Let's Play for 2011. 
Um, I've actually decided I'm going to spend the rest of 2011 um, working on the previous projects that are not completed yet. Pretty much all the projects that are on hiatus I want to complete before 2011's end. Then once 2012 rolls around, we can finally get back into some brand new projects. Um, now there will be one new project that you'll see, but that is only a side let's play. That's that's pretty much the only new thing that you'll find for the rest of 2011. Um, in fact, you may have already seen it already. I'm not sure when this finale is going up just yet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to finish off New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I want to finish off Super Mario RPG if I can. Um, I'll get more into detail about that closer to the closer to the time that I start that we uh, start getting back to that. Um, and also, like I said, there will be the Fall 2011 side Let's Play. That'll be the only new thing that you'll see for the rest of 2011. And then once we get back into the new year, things will start, you know, uh, start becoming fresh again. So, that looked kind of creepy. What the heck is this guy losing somebody picking up the water dumbbells? We took them out in like two seconds. It's kind of sad, no offense. I forget what those things are called. Wagapoles! Okay, they're completely harmless, but they're like... The, I can never remember their name. They're like the pointless enemy that shouldn't exist, but... Why would you guide your Pikmin into the Wally Wa- Not even gonna- Not even. It's not even. Considering how badly I played during this playthrough, I'm not even gonna criticize anymore. I find that so cute. The Pikmin are singing! so cute and with that the pikmin enemy roll call is over and we get the happy end now if you got less than the 25 required ship parts you'll get the bad end um if you get all 25 required ship parts and no more you will get just the regular end and if you get all 30 you will get the happy end um you could probably find the bad end the regular end somewhere on YouTube. I'm not sure if I'll be uploading that. I might upload those as bonus content. I'm not sure. Um, one more thing I want to go over before, um, before I end this off. Challenge mode. Challenge mode here, pretty much in my opinion, is pretty pointless. I might, I might show this all off someday, but I'm not going to do that for like a while. Um, this again would be bonus content if I even ever decide to do it. Pretty much what it is, is that it's basically how many Pikmin can you grow in a day. They place a lot of enemies there that shouldn't be there. They make it really, really tough on you. And it's basically a race against the clock to see how many Pikmin you can sprout. I find it to be kind of boring. I, From what I've seen, I, it looks like I would prefer Pikmin 2's challenge mode a lot more than this one. But then again, I don't have Pikmin 2 just yet, so I can't say. And also, that brings me to my next topic. A lot of you are asking if I will be doing Pikmin 2 as a Let's Play sometime in the future. All I can say is, right now, not for a very long time. Because I have never played the game yet, and I don't know if I would like it or not. I can assume I would like it, but if I don't, I'm not going to Let's Play a game I'm not a fan of. So, it's possible someday... And that's all I'm going to say. So, that's pretty much it for Let's Play Pikmin. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, everyone, this is Slain Spirit 78 signing out. I'll see you guys on the next new side project. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario RPG eventually. And whatever new projects await us in 2012. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.